There we go. That's better. Oh god, no, I don't want to do that. No zooming. Nope, go the other way. Thank you. So I'm waiting for the rental car. I figured this was a good time to start my video blog for DragCon NYC. Yay. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. Um, had some curveballs thrown at me. My t-shirts aren't gonna arrive in time and I was gonna sell them at the booth. So I have to order enough locally for us to wear. Um, waiting for my car. I've been waiting for about 15 minutes outside and here on 49th Street. So budget on 49th Street, get it together. People are looking at me crazy, I don't care. I'm gonna drive to the studio and Ryan and Justin are there waiting for me. We're gonna load up the car, take it to Javits, unload it, probably go to my storage unit, load it up from the storage unit, go back. Um, yeah, I don't know where this car is. Um, I'm gonna go back inside because it's been over 15 minutes now. They said it was right down the block and it's been 15 minutes, so. I'm sitting in traffic on 8th Avenue right now, so I figured I'd record some stuff. So. That was a pain in the butt to get the car. It ended up taking like over 20 minutes and the guy pulled up the car and then I wasn't sure if it was the right car or not. It's a humongous SUV because we have to move a lot of stuff so I figured that'd just be easier. And now I'm sitting in traffic waiting um, to turn onto 56th Street because um, you know New York's all like all one-way streets and apparently everyone and their mother and their neighbors and their extended family is turning right here so yay um i've already decided now that if they do drag con next year in new york which i'm sure they will i am just gonna ship everything to the warehouse and have it just go straight to javits like i'd rather do that than have to rent a car and drive everything and go back and forth and back and forth no fun so i think next year for DragCon New York, I'm just gonna ship everything to the advanced warehouse and just have it sit there and then they'll load it into the show for me like they do in LA and it'll be great. Oh my God. And then people don't know how to drive in New York and they're just kind of sitting here in the middle of the intersection trying to get in and then no one's letting him in because he was an asshole and came this way instead of turning like a normal person. But okay, there's one, two, three, five cars ahead of me trying to turn. Oh, and apparently you can turn from this lane next to me as well. Yay, this is great. It probably turns into one lane too. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit in traffic and play around and then um, we'll get to Javits eventually at some point today, if we're lucky. Okay, so I'm here, Justin and Ryan are gone. This is the booth as of now. They haven't put up the pipe drape walls yet. So it's just kind of an empty place and the two people behind me. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I hope. <laughs> I'm waiting on a, a shipment from Uline right now. Some fiber board, some foam core boards and stuff. Oh, I don't know where that stuff is. I figured I'd wait for it. Um, but I wanna make sure it's coming and then pass the Betty's right behind me. I'm gonna catch her on the camera. Go. Okay, hey everybody. Um, so we got everything pretty much loaded in. I have a box of stuff here that I'm gonna take over in suitcases tomorrow. But before I go home, I did want to show you guys that I have a special visitor here in my station. It's the witch from Grace and Beaching. She's gonna steal all my shit. Already then. Yep. And we have a visitor, you guys, at the booth. Pidgey the drag queen pigeon, right here. There she goes. Look at her. Shantae, you say. Chasse, away. Yeah, sir, please. This is exhibitors only. Exhibitors yeah. only, sir. Bye. Exhibitors only. Go. Exhibitors Bye. only. Ah. Okay, so this is day two of setup. It's Friday. Uh, we're pretty much done. I'll give you guys a tour. All right, so wigs are going to go on those later. That's our trash pile. Ta da. And then we have a little stock room in the corner. Lots of sparkly fabric. My uh, my little poster, and then Jess and Ryan are working on the cabinet with the um, raffle wigs in it. We're putting some glittery fabric in the bottom to just make it soups gay, and then this is going to be where the raffles are. And I have my friend Doug here, who came up from Florida, and a lovely Diana DeGarmo here. She's going to be here with us this weekend, and you guys know Jess. Hi. Jess will not be with us because she's at Anastasia 
and I'm her swing. So, and then we got Ryan, yeah. So, we're pretty much done right now, you guys. So, yay, yay. so, yay. Get to go home and go to bed. Yeah, it's only and it's only like what? Not yeah. even four o'clock, yeah, is it? It's late, yeah. It's three fifteen and we're done. And we got here at like not even like before one. So and then but we have a lot of stuff to do. Golf claps. <laughs> Golf claps. Um and we have some stuff to do. Right across from this crazy bed right here. Yes. She's not here. She's around somewhere. Her gay camp Yeah, it is like a gay campground. Look at that. I'm zooming in, look at that. It's literally like a gay campground. Oh, that's, oh, there she is. Zoomed in a little too close, oops. Okay, so we're here. The show has officially started. Um, the booth's all finished, set up. Here we are, ta-da, I got lots of sparkle fabric and things. It's great. Um, yeah, so I'll give you guys a tour, I guess. So we got wigs on display here. Ta-da, and we got little sparklies for sale and every single wig got a sparkle doodle on it. Um, it's great. We have a little stock room that's hidden. I got some fun curtains. Thank you, Pepper from Astro Booty for giving me all this free fabric like four years ago. And we got the raffle cabinet. We got a victory roll. We got a finger wave. We got an Elsa blonde updo, a white updo. We got a rainbow updo. We got a green finger wave and a macaron little roll thing. And these are the boxes for the raffle. Ta-da! So yeah, there were some issues with um, getting like the internet set up. Ooh, this will actually be really good lighting. Yes, that's the best. Um, there were some issues getting the internet set up and the electric and all of that. But we figured it out and we're doing it and here we go. So we're here and it's afternoon sometime. I'm not sure when exactly. It is nuts here. Look at all the people. Did you guys see Pissy Miles? Like, look, look at this. Hold on. Looking like woman, looking like fish. Yes, we work. Yes. I, I can't sun pop, but that would be a great trip. That really would if you had that. Oh god, that's going get. Oh. Okay, so it's the end of day one. Uh, we sold a lot of stuff. It was great. We just finished uh, putting everything away. Ryan and Justin are counting for me, and then we're all gonna go get food and go to sleep or something like that. Okay, so we're here. It's day two. I found Ivy Winters Hi. and my friend Jamie, and they've known each other since when? High school? Yeah. High school, yeah. They're friends. We dated for like a couple weeks. <laughs> I'm so jealous of both of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, how was your day one? Good. Good. I so sold a dick quill. You sold your dick quill. I got two left. Yeah. So come, go, come go and look at my dicks. Ah, <laughs> Happy Jack God. Happy Jack God. Yay. I wanted them to like float up here. I just had a great basis. I have one ticket. 
Everybody. So we just finished loading out. It ended up being a crazy end of the show. Selling wigs to the last possible second. We're loading out right now. I'm in the car. You can hear the blinky. Blink, blink, blink. Um, waiting for them to pull everything up into the front of the building because we scheduled um, a pickup through Exhibitor Services and it took like over a half an hour and they still didn't come. So they started just moving everything out in trips. So I can just pull up, throw everything in the car and hop away. Um, just so I'm not blocking traffic for an hour as we unload the booth, you know what I mean? So yeah, I guess I can do my final thoughts about the weekend. Um, it was definitely a lot less stressful doing uh, DragCon here in New York. I was more calm, more level, like a lot less stress period overall with this drag con um it kind of was similarly set up to drag con year one where it's kind of a shit show lines everywhere the space was really tiny a little too tight for all the people and the exhibitors and the booths and everything i'm sitting in a bus lane actually i think um yeah so it was kind of like drag con year one in that aspect that just everything was such a shit show everything was so disorganized um in terms of layout and lines and all of that stuff it could have been a lot better um but as a whole it was a lot less stressful a lot more chill than years past i didn't do a panel this time so that was a complete other level of stress and stuff that i didn't have to deal with didn't have to be away from the booth for like an hour and a half to do that it was great um 
but it was a lot of fun. I think, like I said earlier in the video, if it makes the edit, <laughs> that I'm thinking of shipping stuff next year. If they do a drag con in New York, I'm definitely gonna ship stuff just from here and back, just cause that's gonna be so much easier than having to unload a car and load up a car. In terms of the weekend, um, I didn't get to record a lot of footage. I didn't see a lot of people. I mean, I saw, obviously I saw a lot of people, a lot of friends from college, a lot of Broadway friends were here, which was great cause we're in our hometown. Um, in terms of like YouTube people and drag queens and stuff, I didn't get a, get a chance to see a lot of them. Um, so if that part of the video is really short and boring, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun and I think it, I don't know why, it just was so much more chill than in years past. I've decided I will be doing DragCon LA. I uh, still have to get my booth squared away with them, but I will be there. Uh, depending upon when it is, I have to check the calendar to see what's going on, but I definitely am planning on being at DragCon LA in the spring. I know I was against it before. Um, not necessarily that I've had a change of heart and what I want to do with my career and everything, but I've been coerced and convinced into going to LA again. And I do love LA and I love California and I definitely am looking forward to that in the spring. Um, in terms of the show, um, I met a lot of new people, people that I hadn't met at cons before. Um, I didn't actually see many repeat people from LA to here. Um, I, I did, was asking a lot of people, is this your first drag con? Have you been to the LA one, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of people, this was their first. So um, I think it's great that we did it in New York this year. And it was definitely a lot of fun. I wish the space was bigger. Um, maybe next year, if we do it again, it'll be even bigger, which will be great. Dra uh, drag Hunt LA has gotten bigger and more organized and better every year that we've been doing it. So this coming year will be four. Um, but, you know, yeah, it was great. And I think the thing that touched me the most was a lot of kids. And a lot of kids in drag, like little boys in drag. Um, one of my drag friends just adopted a little gay boy, her and her partner, and um, her and the son were here in matching drag, mother-daughter drag, the Cacophony Daniels I showed her earlier in the video, and Cacophony and her son came around the same time I was putting a wig on a mother whose um, son, who was around the same age, like nine or 10, was in drag as well, and I was putting her wig on, and they met, and so it was cool to see Cacophony and the mom bond over having little gay boys as sons and drag and it just got me thinking about like what it would have been like if I was growing up now. I mean, not that I'm 31, so I grew up in the 90s and um, but just seeing these little boys being exposed to it was just really, really cool and I used to be so against kids doing drag and all of that stuff. Um, Mainly because I'm just like, you need to focus on school, you need to focus on getting your life together and being somebody and blah, blah, blah. But sometimes that somebody's a drag queen. <laughs> and you know, so um, that was a lot of fun to do. And um, yeah, it's just been really great. Not as emotional here this year as LA has been in the past. Um, but I got to meet a lot of people for the first time and it was great. And I'm looking forward to DragCon LA in the spring. Yay. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll do it in New York again next year. I don't know um, about that yet. Um, they didn't make an announcement or anything. So hopefully we'll see if we do it again. Um, but as a whole, uh, DragCon New York was great. It was a success. Um, sold a lot of stuff. Um, had a lot of raffle tickets sold, a lot of raffle tickets were sold. Um, and I only have to ship one of the winners. Only one winner wasn't there. People are calling me, I guess it's time to pull around, so I should probably go. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in for this quick little DragCon vlog. Um, I hope it was fun, DragCon was a great time, and if I saw you there, please be sure to tag me in pictures um, on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, I'm on both. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys very soon. I really want to start doing tutorials again, but I have to find the time. Just There's no time to do it and edit and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go, and um, if you were there, I hope you had a great weekend. If not, I hope you guys enjoyed the sale online, and I'll see you guys in L.A. at DragCon in the spring. So have a great one. Bye.